I think the biggest uh, studies of this year's ASH have been in AML have been focusing on elderly AML patients. So uh, new combination approaches that can improve outcomes in patients who are older than 65. So put, to put it in perspective, uh, we are doing very well in AML in the younger patient population. The um, overall survival has gone from 35% at five years to now about 60% in most recent analyses that we have done in our center. Uh, so there's a doubling of the overall survival. However, in the group of older patients, and older being defined by 65 or above, we have seen improvement only from 10% to about 20% in five-year survival. So one of the big areas of focus, uh, both for our group, myself, at MD Anderson, as well as uh, many other big centers around the country, has been what we can do to improve these outcomes. The backbone of uh, therapy in the older patients above 65 has been a hypomethylating agent, so it's uh, decidabine or azacitidine, and these are used frequently both in the United States and Europe as the frontline treatment. They both have a modest response rate, about 25 to 30 percent, and uh, they both improve survival by a few months, but um, there's really much that needs to be done. So what we've been doing is a lot of combination approaches, and there's three combinations at this time which I think are very interesting. One of them that I've been doing is a combination of decidabine with vosoroxin, which is a new drug. Uh, it's a topoisomerase 2 inhibitor. It was uh, studied for last year in a big randomized uh, phase 3, 711 patient study in the relapse setting, and it showed that it could improve survival, especially in older patients. So the study that we are doing is an offshoot of that study, looking at it now in frontline. And it shows that the response rates we can get are about double of that we could get with decidabine alone, so going from 35 to almost 75%. And the medication is tolerated well. We're not seeing any increase in toxicity um, or early mortality above decidabine alone. So that, uh, we just presented that uh, yesterday, and uh, there's a lot of interest to take that to a big phase three in the front line um, to see if this could be a combination that uh, can be available maybe in a few years to the general community. The other combination that's very exciting is one with decidabine with a new molecule called ABT199. It's a BCL2 inhibitor. Uh, Marina Konakleva from our group did the phase one study, which was presented last year, and it showed that even as a single agent, it could produce responses in about 20 to 30 percent of AML, which is very unique and rare for AML because we almost never see much single agent activity. What was also very interesting is that there's a lot of scientific and correlative work that shows that this molecule inhibits a number of important targets in AML activation, proliferation, and spread. Uh, so we now have a frontline study, again, for patients above 65, combining the cytobine with ABT199. It's being led at our center. Uh, we're all collaborating on it. Marina Konopleva and Courtney DiNardo from our group presented this data yesterday. Again, the response rates were uh, about 75%, so very equivalent to the Vosorox and the cytobine. Seems to be tolerated well. Uh, this study is early. We don't have long follow-up, but I think in the next one year, two years, uh, both the decidabine vosoroxine, decidabine ABT199, um, or at least one of them hopefully could move ahead and you know improve our response rates and outcomes in older patients. And then we have another one uh, that we're working with multiple centers, a combination of decidabine with the monoclonal antibody, CD33A. Uh, again, this one is probably earlier in development than the other two studies, but the initial results that were presented yesterday in oral session look very promising. So I think these are the three uh, big combinations in elderly AML that we hope in the next two, three years we'll you know, be able to go out to the community and at least they're not going to be a home run, but we think that they're going to improve survival by maybe a few months or years, and then we can continue to build on that.